Good morning. It is Friday, November 18th. I'm Teo Torres. Here's a look at the big stories we're following today. San Joaquin County deputies are asking for help in finding a third suspect in a homicide. Back in May, deputies say 45 year old Stephen Buchan Jr. was severely beaten and left to die outside of a bar in Clemens. Deputies are still looking for Jason Blassingame after arresting the other two suspects. Deputies say Blassingame and one of the other suspects are members of the Stockton chapter of Hell's Angels. They think he is being hidden. If you have any information, you're asked to please call San Joaquin County Sheriff's deputies. Later today, we're expecting more election results here in Northern California. Sacramento County will be releasing an update at four this evening. They have an estimated 145,000 ballots left to process. El Dorado County is also releasing an update that's happening at five o'clock this evening. And San Joaquin County's own Aaron Judge has won the American League MVP award. The Linden native had a banner year playing for the New York Yankees. His season was highlighted by his 62 home runs and American League record. Judge is the first Yankee to take home MVP since 2007 when Alex Rodriguez won. Let's get a check on our forecast now. Here's meteorologist Tamara Bird. Yeah, and how, however, we're starting out the day with some clouds. I do expect that, especially closer to sunrise time frame, right around 7 a.m. Most of these clouds are going to clear out of here, but these clouds have touched down a few flurries there in the Sierra at some of the higher peaks early this morning. As we go through the day today here in the valley, again, I think we're going to see mainly bright conditions out there. Uh, temperatures will be starting out cool in those upper 30s around the 6 o'clock hour, moving to the low 40s around 8 a.m., and then watch that north wind that's certainly going to come up a bit as we head through the back half of the day in the 10 to 20 mile per hour range. Teo. All right, thank you. And that's a look at what we're following today here on KCRA 3.